feeling sick again. Oh, please don't say that word. But... Maybe moving away is a good idea after all, you know? Well, I think Esther and Michael have something to say about it. We're thinking of moving away, aren't we? Well, we don't want Billy to find out. How would you feel about moving in with us? We think that we might need a bit more time just to, you know, consider it properly. Yeah. What... what do you think? I would love to move in. Yay! <laughs> Excuse me. Aaron's dad's here and he's definitely been drinking. He's literally just nodded off. Aaron, I'm bleeding. So I've had a miscarriage. I'm sorry. What are we going to do about Esther and Mike? I could phone them if you want. Why not just text them and be done with it? I'll see them tomorrow. Brad? Sorry, mate, I got back and I found him drinking again. Oh, don't worry, we'll get him sorted. I'll <laughs> tackle him to the ground if I have to. I can't take this anymore. At this rate, he's going to drink himself to death. And when he does, it'll be my fault. Maybe we should wait a while before we tell Esther and Mike about the baby. We could keep the money for now, use it to pay for more rehab for your dad. If we take that money, then it's fraud. I am making all of this up as I go along. I don't have all the answers. This isn't like you. If you want your dad alive, this is our only choice. The Nordic. Christmas cruise. Well, I'll get that booked in uh, just as soon as I've read all the details. Carla isn't looking for anyone external to consult on the business. No? Excused? Yes! Oh! I couldn't find any of your socials. Well, you're posting a photo of your uh, Buddha bowl or your dog in, in a dress. Yeah, all that endless bragging. Now tell me the real reason that you're keeping a low profile. I'll assume you've got something to hide. Yes, yes, I am still seeking employment. What have you got for me? Fast food delivery driver. A, a life longing. A li life... The life of longing was no life at all. Yes, thank you, Kenneth. I mean, it's a terribly clunky old line. I'm really, really struggling. I can't wait to see what you make of my script. I've already had some thoughts. Ken, you've decimated it. No, uh, 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 don't be so hasty. I need to be going. Prior engagement. What a shame. I'm sure all your hard work will pay off in the end. Oh. How are you doing? Fine. It's just that Eileen's been filling me in on how you cope you know, after the breakup with the dental assistant. Come on, then. What do you want to watch? I was actually going playing football with Liam and Jake. Well, why don't I come with you? Go, team! I think he's lonely. Sean? Well, ever since him and Lawrence split up, it's like he's relying on me too much. Leave it with me. Uh, listen, um, I don't suppose you've got any time later on, have you? You could come out this afternoon and give us a quote. Yeah, I can come round this afternoon. We were told between 15 and 15 grand is, is what we were quoting. It's more like 20k. Now what are we going to do? The money Natasha left him. Oh, Nick, come on, we've already talked about this. I, I talked to him, explained. I've been thinking about that money your mum left No, you. don't worry. I'm going to make sure I put it to good use. Get myself for university and land a top job by the end of it. But uh, I did talk to Melissa, Natasha's sister, and uh, she was fine about it. She saw it as an investment in Sam's future. Oh, I'm just so relieved it's all sorted. Uh, not much change out of 20 grand. Yeah, pretty much the same as the quotes I've already got, to be honest. Right, and this is just a business transaction, yeah. Right, sure. congratulations. You know officially my partner in crime. <laughs>